Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your website in a fast, simple, and secure way. It doesn't matter whether you've built your website with HTML, React, or any other stack. We'll see how to get your project live on the internet without stress. For this, we'll be using a platform called Savala. So first, what exactly is Savala and why are we using it? Savala is basically an all-in-one platform to deploy applications, databases, and static sites all from one place. We are using it because it's easy to use, comes with enterprise-grade security, runs on Google's infrastructure for super-fast performance. The best part is, it's free to deploy your website in the beginning. If your website grows and gets more visitors, then you'll be charged. But honestly, it's cheaper than other platforms, and there are no hidden fees. You only pay for what you use. All right. Now let's quickly go through how you can deploy your website. Go to Savala.com or just use the link in my description and sign up for free using GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket. And right after signing up, they give you $50 free credit to try it out. Now once you're on the dashboard, you'll see different options like static sites, applications, object storage, databases, and templates. Let's start by deploying a static website first. And if you don't know what a static site is, it's a website that doesn't require a backend or server to work. Click Add Static Site. Now, connect your GitHub account. You can also use Bitbucket or GitLab, but I'll go with GitHub here. After connecting, select the repository that has your website code. Now set your website name. You can enable pull request previews. These previews give you a live preview of changes before they get merged. Click Continue. Now fill these details. Build command. If your website is React or Vue, write npm run build, else leave blank for plain HTML. Node version. 18 works fine. Root directory, slash. Publish directory, usually dist or build, or leave blank for HTML sites. Index file, index.html. Error file, it's optional but usually index.html. Click create site, and in just a few seconds your website will be live. Click on visit site, and that's it. Your static website is now live on the internet. You'll notice the site has a .kinsta.page domain. That's the free default domain provided by Savala. But if you want to use your own custom domain, here's how to do it. Click on Domains, then click Add Domain. Enter your domain name and click Add. Savala will now show you some DNS records. Go to your domain's DNS management panel and add those records. This step verifies that you own the domain. And once that's done, your custom domain will be successfully connected to your site. To deploy a full stack application, click Applications, Create an app and select the repository, name it. Select your location and choose the pod size according to your needs. Hit Create. Now you'll see a clean and powerful interface where you can even enable features like CDN and edge caching with a single click. And here you can see your app's web process. Click Deploy Now and then confirm by clicking Deploy Application. In just a few seconds, your full stack app will be live on the internet. Click Visit Site and boom, your live project is up and running. So that's how you can deploy both a static website and a full stack application on Savala in just a few simple steps. The platform is fast, flexible, and beginner friendly, and I really liked how smoothly it handles both front end and back end projects. Now, in the next video, I'll show you how to deploy a Laravel application step by step using Savala. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment if you have any doubts or want me to cover any other framework or stack. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.